it's uh, darn good. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to. <laughs> so I'm set up for a jig. That drag is set pretty tight. I don't set it real tight for creek, but I set it pretty tight. Anyway, I, I lost my jig. Uh, which reminds me of my little unbagging from the marts of the wall. I turned to kill yesterday, so I dropped by Walmart and I got a, a rattle, set of rattle chunks. They were all on sale for a dollar seven at my local Walmart. Um, and so were the jigs by Chug Justice. I don't know if you ever know who Chuck Justice is. He's kind of a legend in my area, in parts of Texas. You know, Chuck Justice, he's uh, got a really deep voice. And he's a really super nice guy. And uh, like I said, he's uh, quite the uh, well-known character. Anyway, these come with little rattles if you want them. Um, they are insert rattles. As you can see, I don't know if it's going to focus in on that, but uh, it also comes with some other type of rattles that you could just slip on the hook. These Justice rigs are they're kind of a combination. They're good for brush, which, you know, if you live around these parts, brush is a big part of it. Rocks are a big part of it. Anyway, the, the Justice rig... It's really nice because you, know, you get a good quality jig head and part of it's flat. You can see that. Um, and it's got these eyes that are embedded. These eyes will never fall out. And if you notice the... I don't know if you can see that, but... Uh, the little tie-in is embedded into the jig head um, which is it really increases the sensitivity or so they claim um, but I believe it see you could get this kind of rattle you could just kind of slip on there it's got a little hole it kind of slides in there if that's what you prefer um, could add a little extra action in um, a little rattle action. Um, I like to save these. I, for the conditions today, since it's been raining so long and I'm fixing fishing a creek, um, um, gets a little. I probably should have used a rattle jig, but it wasn't what I had tied, so. But yeah, you got these little inserts, you got a little cavity in there, you could just shove the old rattle right on in there. That's a pretty cool little setup. And uh, I mean, once you shove the rattle in there, since this is like a little frog type, um, I don't know if I showed you that part or not, but... Uh, hard to get back out until you uh you you know a lot of these inserts you wonder well you're gonna lose them ma'am jam well, it's got a little hole see a little hole so when you shove the little bad boy in there you could kind of just when you're shoving your hook through it's a little different but it gives a little extra action you shove the hook through and it goes right through that hole your trailer's not going anywhere, and neither is um, neither is that little rattle in there. Um, and if you're really crafty enough, like me, and it's springtime, you really don't need that super long presentation. You just simply flip that baby around put it in head first which yeah it's a, it's a bit harder to to find your uh, 
your rattle, but I could, you could actually just slide it on like you would any other normal jig, but I'll use like the access hole because it makes it a little, a little easier to, to feel your way towards that little locking hole. Could, I mean, it takes a little, you know, that's not the way they suggest you do it, but, you know, in the springtime, what can you do? Part of it is, actually, this little baby, you could just kind of hook it on there and just shove it in there, which is, I think it's what that's actually designed for, but I found that this little steel one tends to work a lot better for this area. See now your your little justice rattles in there and ain't going nowhere. And you've got a much shorter presentation for the springtime or when you're trying to match your hatch. And I tell you, these rubber bands, these little black rubber bands, those things will not break for years. Uh, anyway, just thought I'd show you that. I bought some extra trailers because sorry sorry Chuck but I do I do use your trailers on other jig heads besides yours when, whenever I have them but anyway ta ta for now okay hey y'all I'm back um just had to make sure I got to the parking lot at work it's, I hate being late. Anyway, a um, little more about the Justice Rig. I didn't, I didn't mention earlier, but they're made by Hart um, Bait Company. Um, I think that's Hart Bait. Yeah. Um, Hart Tackle. So you can get more information at hearttackle.com. But there's another color I got. Uh, you know, you can't go wrong with the brown and chartreuse. Um... um I was kind of mentioning the head, you know, being kind of semi-flat and pointed. Um, makes it great for swimming. And it's also that little flat, angled lip. When you're dragging it, it, uh, it helps make the bait stand up. Um, it's a great all-around combination uh, jig head. I'm usually, um, if I'm not using the justice and I uh, get a good deal on some other type of uh, jig head I favor the arky head because the arky the true arky head you know it's kind of it's kind of the same shape except a little more teardrop shaped and you know it's pointed so you can pull it through brush really easily um, you could drag it through the muck um, and you could also swim it if you need to it's, it's just got that little combination thing um, and this is truly a good combination um, all around jig if you're you know budget minded like me you can't go out and just buy football jigs for this purpose and and uh, you know finesse jig this jig that jig you could always just customize these uh, justice rigs good old junk justice um, I did meet him at Cabela's one year the same year I met Danny Brower were two really good jig fishermen. Justice is a jig fisherman. I think he also does a, a spinner bait. So any type of jig he specializes in. I don't know if he makes a spinner bait though. But uh, two of the nicest fishermen that I've met personally. Um, Jimmy Houston's another one. I met him. Uh, he comes. Of course, you know, being in Oklahoma, he goes to every hunting and tackle show there is and shows up and does a seminar. And truly a nice guy. I think he kind of took a liking to my wife. No offense, Chris. Um, but, you know, that's all right. Um, oh, here's the uh, other color I got. You already saw the black and blue. This is, you know, on the rare occasion when we do get clear water in Oklahoma. I, I know Oklahoma has a bad reputation for... Um, not having muddy water which is true I mean it depends what time of year the mud 
the water and sediment does settle during certain times of year and the water is actually fairly clear um, in most lakes but you know around springtime it's horridly muddy so you need presentations like like this or good old black and blue which I've tied on today um, truthfully I you know, as muddy as it was today, I should have snuck in every rattle there is. Um, but yeah, just just a little more on the Justice rig. I really, really like the Justice rig, and for people like me that are Poe, even at the regular price, they're only right at two dollars uh, a pack. Which, you know, this one says includes bonus rattle chunk. Well, they, this, every one I've seen comes with a bonus rattle chunk, so I don't know if it's a bonus, but, you know, it technically is a bonus that you do get the, the little soft plastic to go along with it and the, the little rattles and all that stuff because a lot of brands, do, you don't get the soft plastic to go with it. And if you do, you're looking at least four and a half dollars on up so it's a good value heart tackle i like a lot of stuff from heart tackle They're, they make great products for low prices i don't know about all of the country but since they're semi-local you know we might get a better deal than the rest of the country anyway i'm done yakking i'm being leo shank here and just yapping and yapping and you know showing no fishing but i you know i got a gift for gab i guess Sorry, I had a phone call. Anyway, um, I'm new to YouTube. I'm just going to start up my channel. Um, unfortunately, I'm down to this one little cheapo camera. And um, I do plan on actually going out and fishing. But, you know, I had to get around to getting set up. Maybe one of those chest cams or hat cam or whatnot. But, uh, anyway, um Please like, comment, and subscribe. You know, I haven't had much substance other than yapping. Um, and if you want to check out some of my catches, I just started um, at least photographing with my cell phone you know, a few of my catches this year. And, you know, just find me on Instagram. Um, uh, um, you'll either find it on Baccarita73 or just Roger Banker, B A N K E R. Um, I'm also on Facebook, you know, find me on Facebook, I, I try to post there, and um, Snapchat, I'm on Snapchat, so, um, you know, um, it's just easier for me to post the pictures on the phone than it is to carry my little Schmo Pro uh, GoPro knockoff and for now, but uh, look to me to take you on some kayak adventures and bank fishing adventures in the near future uh, again like comment subscribe dislike it doesn't matter I'm, I'm, I'm cool with you know even the trolls out there uh, the trolls teach you a thing or two or three what you need to improve so uh, I'm out easily um, you can drag it through the muck um, and you could also swim it if you need to. It's, it's just got that little combination thing. Um, and this is truly a good combination um, all around jig. If you're you know, budget minded like me, you can't go out and just buy football jigs for this purpose. And, and uh, you know, finesse jig, this jig, that jig. You could always just customize these uh, Justice rigs. Good old Chuck Justice. Um, I did meet him at Cabela's one year. The same year I met Denny Brower. We're two really good jig fishermen. Justice is a jig fisherman. I think he also does a, a spinner bait. So any type of jig he specializes in. I don't know if he makes a spinner bait though. But uh, two of the nicest fishermen that I've met personally. Um, Jimmy Houston's another one. I met him. Uh, he comes, of course, you know, being in Oklahoma, he goes to every hunting and tackle show there is and shows up and does a seminar. And truly a nice guy. 
I think he kind of took a liking to my wife. No offense, Chris. Um, but, you know, that's all right. Um, oh, and here's the uh, other color I got. You already saw the black and blue. This is, you know, on the rare occasion when we do get clear water in Oklahoma. I, I know Oklahoma has a bad reputation for um, not having muddy water, which is true. I mean, it depends what time of year. The mud, the water and sediment does settle during certain times of year, and the water is actually fairly clear um, in most lakes. But, you know, around springtime, it's horridly muddy, so you need presentations like like this or good old black and blue, which I've tied on today. Um, truthfully, I... You know, as muddy as it was today, I should have snuck in every rattle there is. Um, but, yeah, just... Just a little more on the Justice Rig. I really, really like the Justice Rig. And for people like me that are Poe... Even at the regular price, they're only right at $2 uh, a pack. Which, you know, this one says includes bonus rattle chunk. Well, they, this, everyone I've seen comes with a bonus rattle chunk, so I don't know if it's a bonus. But, you know, it technically is a bonus that you do get the the little soft plastic to go along with it. And the, the little rattles and all that stuff. Because a lot of brands, do, you don't get the soft plastic to go with it. And if you do, you're looking at least four and a half dollars on up so it's a good value heart tackle i like a lot of stuff from heart tackle They're, they make great products for low prices i don't know about all of the country but since they're semi-local you know we might get a better deal than the rest of the country anyway i'm done yakking i'm being leo shank here and just yapping and yapping and you know showing no fishing but i you know i gotta get for gab i guess